So, now that the NHL season is in full effect, it's difficult to find all the hot new rumors that go around the mill, because everybody's focused on the games. And that's okay, because when we do end up getting rumors or things that popped over throughout the summer that are making themselves known nowadays, it's good video fodder for me to record a video, sit on it for a little bit, and upload it when there is nothing else to talk about. So, today we are talking about what Elliot Friedman discussed on a recent 32 Thoughts article about a rejected trade between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Edmonton Oilers. Now, this is from the piece on October 10th, 32 Thoughts, Why Shifley and Hellebuck Stayed with the Jets. The link is going to be in the description if you want to go ahead and read this piece. Now, there are, of course, a few other things that are written about in the article, but what it is that we care about is the thought listed at number four. It talks about the Toronto Maple Leafs and them trading away Sam Lafferty to the Vancouver Canucks. By the way, Lafferty, first game in Vancouver against Edmonton, he was really good. Driving to the net, super solid bottom six presence, I am loving this trade from a Vancouver Canucks fan perspective. But... The article talks initially about how the Maple Leafs were in talks with Lafferty to trade him elsewhere. Take a look at this. Before the Maple Leafs traded Lafferty to Vancouver, which was a nice pickup for them, the Maple Leafs called the Oilers. Edmonton has liked him for a while, poking around last season before he was moved by Chicago. It obviously didn't happen, but the Maple Leafs asked about Vincent DeHarnay. He fits exactly what the Leafs are looking for. He's a favorite of the Oilers coaching staff. During an exhibition game in Calgary, head coach Jay Woodcroft put him out there as the extra skater when Jack Campbell was pulled in a 1-0 game. DeHarnay went to the front of the net, putting on a great screen as Edmonton scored. I'd love to see that during the season. So, this is the idea that the Toronto Maple Leafs wanted to trade Sam Lafferty to the Oilers because they knew the Oilers wanted Lafferty in the first place. But the Maple Leafs' asking price was Vinny DeHarnay. And, as we go over into this video more, the Oilers did not want to trade that guy. Hence why the Maple Leafs ended up backing away and ended up sending Lafferty to Vancouver for a fifth-round pick. Now, let's talk about this idea here, talk about why the Oilers did not want to trade away DeHarnay, and what kind of an impact he has over Sam Lafferty that made him more valuable. Vinny DeHarnay is 27 years old, big right-handed defenseman, 6'6", 216. So, yeah, this is a behemoth of a man, making $760,000 as an AAV till the end of this season. DeHarnay has been a journeyman throughout his entire career, initially being a shutdown defenseman for the Providence College team in the NCAA. He found himself into the ECHL, and eventually the AHL, and then the Edmonton Oilers in 22-23, where he had 5 points in 36 games. He also suited up for the team in the postseason run after playing in Bakersfield once more. Vinny DeHarnay, as the article talks about, is a fan favorite. He's a big dude, he's a solid dude, he plays the game the right way, and he is loved all in that locker room. You can just see based off of how he is deployed, how he's played, where they decide to play him, that a lot of the Oilers' decisions around DeHarnay have a lot of confidence behind them. They feel this guy is a very appropriate NHL defender for their squad. And for a Toronto Maple Leafs team that you could debate, maybe, maybe not, needs more defense, especially guys on the right side, getting somebody with DeHarnay's size and skill set sounds like a pretty appropriate move. You want to talk about guys who were AHL tweeners, eventually becoming NHL guys towards the mid to late 20s part of their careers, and the Maple Leafs taking a chance on them? The one that comes to my mind right away when I think of that type of profile is Michael Bunting as the Maple Leafs took bunting from Arizona, reaping the huge benefits of his skill set. Even though at the time, when he was acquired by Toronto, bunting was mostly just an AHL guy who had spent some time in the National Hockey League. A similar type of formula was exhibited here with their interest in DeHarnay. But the Oilers declined. Even though Sam Lafferty was the dangling prize in this situation, a very eager, hard-working bottom six presence, DeHarnay was a guy that the Oilers felt was more valuable, and the Maple Leafs ended up walking away. Just for me, watching the Oilers and the Canucks play the other night, DeHarnay was all over the game. He got into a fight, he dropped the gloves with Dakota Joshua, the guy stood up for his teammates, and he got quite a few minutes as well. Of course, 
it's tough because he was sidelined for five for fighting, but either way, DeHarnay was in there, he was hitting guys, he was doing a good job, and you could definitely feel that presence of a 6'6 right-handed defender every time he was on the ice. There's good value in the profile he has, which is why the Toronto Maple Leafs wanted him. And this is kind of funny too, because when you think about the Oilers wanting Lafferty for the past few years, ever since he was a Chicago Blackhawk, if the Maple Leafs were able to get this done, let's say the Oilers don't like DeHarnay as much as they do, and they end up making the trade. It's Lafferty for DeHarnay, and the Canucks don't get Lafferty, they keep their fifth round pick. The Toronto Maple Leafs are all of a sudden much more competitive if that Edmonton trade gets made. Because you talk about the Ryan Reeveses of the world, you talk about the Domies, the Bertuzzis, a guy like DeHarnay fits that type of mold exactly. So for Brad Trilliving to target this guy in Edmonton makes a lot of sense. But alas, because the Oilers liked him too much, they had to say no, and the Maple Leafs ended up just getting a fifth round pick for Lafferty instead. Which is okay, because they were going to waive the guy anyway, they had no real option to keep him on the team, considering their roster structure, the salary cap, and the way the league operates, pretty much. But at the end of the day, I personally, as a Vancouver Canucks fan, am very happy to see how this went down. Lafferty has been great for Vancouver even if it's only been in a bottom six role. And sure, you could say that because Lafferty is doing all right here, it means that the Canucks are inferior to the Maple Leafs because he wouldn't have been able to crack the Leafs lineup, etc., etc. I get it, you could say there's some sort of a hierarchy that's being implied by talking about how good of a player Lafferty is, but at the end of the day, this is a player that's really been helping the Canucks out, and for the Oilers to pass up on this guy... I think it's a pretty good thing. If Lafferty was in Edmonton instead of Vancouver, things would have been a lot different, maybe, in the first game of this season between these two teams. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about the Oilers rejecting this Toronto Maple Leafs trade idea of Sam Lafferty for Vinny DeHarnay? A lot of Leafs fans have been looking at the Lafferty trade and saying it's a pretty okay move because they got a free pick for a guy they were going to waive anyway. What if they were able to get DeHarnay instead, a right-handed defenseman who is a physical specimen of a beast? If the Oilers were able to make this trade, what are your thoughts about that entire idea? And how do you feel this changes the way the Vancouver Canucks system is laid out without Lafferty in the lineup? I know for me personally, Canucks fan, I would rather have Lafferty in the short term than a fifth round pick because, I mean, look, what are the odds that a fifth round pick becomes as good as a player like Lafferty is anyway? Not really high. I get it, the Canucks have bled draft picks over the past few years, and that's kind of why a lot of Canucks fans didn't like the trade in the first place, but... In isolation, just contextually speaking, with this season, I like that move a lot. And I'm happy that the Maple Leafs were not able to get that done with the Oilers. So thoughts in the comment section below about the Lafferty trade to Vancouver, the Lafferty rejected trade to Edmonton, defenseman Vinny DeHarnay, and how it all comes together. If you're an Oilers fan or a Leafs fan, what are your thoughts about this entire idea? Again, the link is going to be in the description if you want to read the entire 32 Thoughts article from Elliot Friedman. I hope you enjoyed this Vrishash Rolls 99. And bye.